Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to speak about conceptual model of information system for drone monitoring of trees condition. So, tree monitoring information system using current technologies is topically for today. Such area is not fully researched in our country, but is very useful for future development. This system can make it easier to look after trees and find options for improving its condition. All the research done in this area is a marvelous development of technology for ecology, but they only work to analyze the images, not to detect trees damage and to find solutions for improving trees condition. In Ukraine, due to many years of inadequate funding, municipalities are unable to effectively address growing problems. In particular, high level and increasing pollution of the urban environment, uncontrolled growth of illegal constructions and the need for periodic monitoring of its pace, saturation of urban and suburban roads by vehicles, insufficient quality of road surface, insufficient green space and illumination imbalance, growth rates of wear of cultural and historical facets of buildings. For the benefit of the city, drones can be used in the following areas. Conducting siege operations, geological exploration, aerial survey of the terrain, performance of aviation chemical works, monitoring of territory and objects, and video surveillance. Advantages of a manned aircraft, namely, to perform the same tasks, drones cost much cheaper manned aircraft. It is necessary to train pilots and it costs big money and considerable time. The absence of crew on board significantly reduces the cost of performing a task and increases the payload of the apparatus. Drones don't need airfields. The automatic and semi-automatic control reduce the influence of the human factor. Now, I would like to show you our system according to different methodologies. Here you can see the idea of zero context diagram. The main activity is to analyze tree's condition. First of all, the analyst gives for system damage detection analyst rules and the special commission gives recommendation for improving tree's condition. Then, the user needs to give such input data as a result of laser, hyperspectral and multispectral scanning, plans passport and statistical observations. Moreover, user makes the request such as to find trees damage prevention options, to find the trees damaged, to find options for improving trees condition. As a result, for user request, the system gives signs the trees are weakening or dying, or suffering from old fresh dryness, or they are healthy. And also it gives options for improving trees condition and damage prevention options for trees. As a mechanism for this system, there are tree disease symptom classification, forest management instructions, forest sanitary rules, treatment and cutting sanitary rules. It is the decomposition of the previous diagram. It has four activities. First of all, system makes trees for pathological and taxation characteristic according to the pattern. Then it compares the obtained data from the user and creates characteristics. System analyzes this comparative data for damage detection and, as a result, gives the state of the trees. In the end, it finds options for improving trees' health. It is the decomposition diagram a level 2 for the process made characteristics of trees according to the pattern. It shows that the system determines the tree's parameters from the result of laser, hyperspectral and multispectral scanning. From this collected data, it creates taxation characteristic. Then it determines the type, degree and extent of damage also from this result of scanning and creates a forest pathological characteristic. Now, here it is represented the system context diagram according to DFD methodology by Jane and Sarson notation. There are three external entities. The first one is the user, the second is analyst, special commission and moderator, and the last one is the hyperspectral, multispectral cameras and lidar. All the data flows are the same as the arrows in the IDF0 diagram. This decomposition is the same as the decomposition level 1 of IDF0 context diagram, but it has data stores which are special for DFD methodology. These data stores have all mechanisms from IDF0 diagram. All processes get information from these data stores 
and also gives new information to them. For example, first process gets feature templates and data list for characteristics from first management instructions and returns to this data store new templates. It is the decomposition level 2 for the process make choice characteristic according to the pattern in the DFD methodology. The difference from the composition idea of zero methodology is that here the processes return such new items to the data stores as new data and templates for taxation and first pathological characteristics. Here you can see the new decomposition diagram level 2 for process compare the obtained data. This diagram has two processes. The first one is to define previous damages to risk states and its properties from planned passport and statistical observations. Then the process compare new and previous data means that it compares characteristics with planned passport, tree disease symptoms and obtain data of previous studies. It returns new disease symptom to the data store, tree disease symptom classification, and the output of this process is comparative data. Now I would like to represent node tree diagram by displaying the lower level in the form of list. Here you can see FEO diagram. It has the other point which shows the analysis tree's condition when input data are the information about fire damage, technogenic impact, damage due to natural and man-made phenomena. So there are only two activities. The system makes trees taxation and forest pathological characteristics and then at once finds options for improving trees health. There is idea 3 diagram of decomposition level 3 for process define options to prevent tree disease. The request to find tree prevention options starts the process define possible treats for trees sanitary condition. Then there are three processes which can begin in different ways. They define fire prevention options, unfavorable conditions for pest propagation and disease spreading. They must end together for activating the next process, which draws up a project of forest protection options. It is represented the idea 3 scenario of previous diagram. In addition, there is also activity cost report where the total cost is determined by one square meter of trees planted. In conclusion, the proposed tree monitoring system has a great deal of functionality. There are the analysis of the obtained images from the cameras, the comparison of the data, and the analysis for the detection of damage to the green space, which is especially important for the tree monitoring. In addition, the system will find measures to improve the condition of trees formed on the basis of the requirements and guidelines of the Special Commission, and won't need to involve additional experts in the field of forestry. The collected data is up to the information for the study of green space, which will allow to further create statistical observations and to find new solutions to tree damage.